you talk to me about your plans, please? I want to use uh, a less list ways that we uh, have to use less and non renewable resources like plastic and uh, stuff that are hard to uh, decompose and we can recycle plastic materials like a uh, milk cans and okay. water bottles. Tell me the steps you're going to compose the food crap. So uh, explain your steps to me. Mm. Annie, explain the steps to me from your group. Annie, can you explain your steps, please? Um, first, we'll try to use less and renewable resources, and we can and we can recycle wastes or plastic materials as much as we can. Then we can uh, reuse and recycle it. Uh, the things that is made from plastic and things that are broken and try to fix it instead of throwing it away. We can tell people, we can tell people to do these things. We can compost the food scraps we eat. We can reuse and we can reuse fabric shopping bags instead of plastic ones. Yeah, sure, okay. And uh, Sky, explain to me what steps you're going to explain to your parents. Um, <coughs> we will tell our families to use less non-renewable resources and plastic recycle items that are broken or not in use, so it could decrease the amount, the amount of waste in our families and tell adults to fabric to use fabric shopping bags when they go and uh, and what what are your expected changes what do you expect to happen with your plan uh, we expect that uh, the that uh, we will help uh, to uh, decrease the amount of uh, waste in our houses yeah okay fine uh, yeah, I like this plan. It's good. It's simple. It's easy to do. But yeah, please make sure to, to put that in place by Wednesday. Good job, girls. Okay, Bill, Pencil, and Monkey. Bill, Monkey, and... Hi. I don't know where our pencil is. Okay, so explain uh, explain your plan to me. Uh, so, um, so my, um, uh, our plan is... Uh, there are two types of uh, waste. Uh, and there's e-waste and waste. So uh, uh, what I'll do for e-waste is uh, electronic waste. Oh, water waste and waste. So I, uh, what I do with water waste is I will uh, recycle it, re recycle it by uh, uh, cleaning the water to make uh, water, drinking drinking water, or uh, to uh, pour it uh, into the river or lake. And what I will do in uh, waste is uh, I will recycle it too, and uh, make it into uh, lots of other usable stuffs. Okay, fine, okay. Uh Bill, pencil monkey, how how is monkeys different than yours? Are you not doing these together? Because yeah. you guys should be, you should guys should be doing this idea is like first step, I will need a recycle factory. Yeah, but the first thing you need to do is recycle at home first. Last step is recycle all those things and all those done. No, you, you have this backwards. So monkey, explain this to me, please. Okay. First I will measure the amount of waste my family throws away every day. Next, um after one week, I will look at those numbers and then uh see if the see if the waste decreases or increases and then I will find a way to in decrease the amount of waste every day and then I will use this method for the remaining week and then we will and then I I will and then I will also report it down when we I will look at the results and I can prove if it works or not. Okay. Well monkey, we we're doing we we did that already. Right? Yep. We've been doing that already, right? because I've asked you to measure waste for a week. So you should already have information for about one week. So what plan would you put in place from now? 
So you're, you're kind of, you're saying all the things that I'm asking you to do. But in this case, I'm actually asking you to tell me what is that point. So you kind of, you missed a step there. So that group, I need you to do this again tonight. I need to see step one, step two, step three. Minerva and Emily. So Lucy, Minerva, where are you? And Emily. Okay, tell me about your plan. Um, our plan is to recite and uh, we use the tracks. Um, when we use the cycle of the trash, we are going to uh, put it into different bins uh, for each material so that uh, the waste will be um, disposed of correctly. Mm -hmm. And um, for the recycle years, we just plan I'm going to uh, prepare like different bins and then lay and then label them and then I will talk uh, to my family about the different uh, bins and uh, what and uh, what type of trash belong to uh, what bin so that they get lift up and. Uh, we could, um, and after it is all uh, short, we could move it to a recycling center so that uh, the waste could be disposed uh, correctly. Uh, because if uh, we uh, let, um, we don't um, sort it out, and maybe the uh, hazardous. Um, can be mixed up with the uh, other waste that are supposed to be uh, recycled, and then um, yeah, uh, it will be very bad. Okay, no, no, look, I really like this plan. It's good. It's structured. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that one. Cool. Uh, right. Thank you. Uh, instead, there is too much going on. Uh, B. B, why is why is yours done? Ah, uh, what? Why is yours on your own? What, what, where's the rest of your group? Name, group members. Uh, uh, I forgot. You forgot. Well, did the rest of your group do it? So you have this one here. And then this but, one here. Uh, I can't talk. I don't know. Oh, Mr. Ryan. Um, so yesterday, I made sure you took B's email address, Kent. Did you talk um, to B? I I sent the the, the mail. Is uh, can do meeting now, but I doesn't let me. What I, I don't I, because on yesterday I have I learned math to I have to have a math lessons at night, so I cannot mm, meeting with B and James. And uh, my mom said she cannot uh, give me a. Um, uh, um, so like, um, something on Zoom, so I cannot go talk to my team. Oh, and Mr. Ryan, if uh, you see that my, uh, this, my Google form is, uh, uh, not have the step, here is the step I sent it to you because when yesterday I do that, uh, Google form, it said I cannot log in, so I, but, I log in and I write the step out of uh, the word. Okay, look, this group, you need to learn how to communicate. You need to talk. You have to find a way to talk together. You can't have me do one thing and you do something else. It makes no sense. It means you're not working together as a group. Um, Mr. Ryan, can I yes. interrupt? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, yeah. B, do you have the email address? B? I give Kent um, the yes, problem, sorry. I think the problem is B like uh, doesn't know like how to log on Zoom or maybe or, like he cannot like form a group with the rest of his mem members. So B, if you have an email address, right? So you can like you can a uh, can can communicate with B on Zoom. But how can so, I get an email address? You have one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the one that you are using, right? right? So do you know that we have a group called 5E4?
or the chat the chat group uh, on Zoom. So you can join in this group and then you can chat with the whole members of the class. Um, can I speak, Mr. Ryan? Yeah, sure. Tell me. Be because be, if we want to chat in this Zoom chat of 5 people, we need to sign in one like the Gmail address to make one account so we can join to chat. But we cannot, B doesn't have he own Gmail, so he cannot make the account to chat. Okay, so tonight you need to ask help or I will send you instructions on how to, how to set up a Gmail account. Yeah, so I will say, like, tonight you need to set up a Gmail account. It's quite simple. Looks if you go to Google, just type in set up Gmail, not on Outlook. Set up Gmail, all you need to do is create a Gmail account. Let's follow the steps. It's quite simple. It takes three minutes. Create an account, okay? Once you create an account, you can then just create your own email address, your own password. You can call it b b 5 4 at gmail.com. You could easily do that. And then from there, you'll be able to log in and you'll be able to join into all the chat groups because we've had this issue since last week and it's still going on, B. So we need to find a solution to it, all right? So this is what you need to do. I'll send this to you now so you can do this after class and get it set up, okay? Okay. So, uh, so Kent, tell me the steps for your group, please. All right. Yes, the steps for your group. Um, step one, I will measure the weight. Um, I will measure the amount of weight each week, each week, and I will change how, okay. how about, I will change the main, um, the manage of, of the weight, um, and I will compare and see that the different um, of the change in the first week and yeah. when and the yeah. and the yeah. amount was disposed sure to the landfill. Sure okay. Step two, I'm I will recycle. I will recycle out. some waste that make out of aluminum and plastic. When right. in the service, the plant expects to reduce it's waste pollution that affects the life. Um, oh, I will tell my family to use use back the plastic bottle um you let plastic back and then um and use the paper to um to to uh, um to make toys or uh, use it for working back okay. Okay, Ken, what, what I want to see is, I want to see that written out, okay? So can you please email me those steps as soon as class is over? B, sorry. B, can you check my message, please? B, B. Bit A, eraser, and pizza. Explain your plan, please. Also, cameras uh, on now, everyone. Uh, my plan is to collect paper and cardboard in the living room. Collect the plastic after using it and throw out organic waste out in a bit after eating. Uh, <laughs> First, I will tell my parents to help me pick up the trash. Next, if they do, we will collect trash from my bedroom, my dad's workplace, the living room, the kitchen, and my mom's bedroom. Then we will all sort it in the laundry room, where I put trash. Finally, I will reduce it by turning it into toys so me and my sister can play. And what, what results do you think will... will, will... Uh, I expected it to uh, have... Uh, about three kilograms of cardboard, uh, one kilogram of uh, plastic, and uh, and uh, I mean, two kilograms of cardboard, three kilograms of paper, and uh, one kilogram of plastic. And what, 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 what results do you expect to see from your plan? I expect it to uh, to uh, get the uh, uh, I expect that uh, my. I expected my parents to, to get, to get uh, 
uh, three kilograms of paper, uh, two kilograms of cardboard, and one kilogram of... Okay, and what do you expect that to do to the amount of waste? What do you uh, expect this plan to do to the amount of waste? Uh, I, I expect that the, this plan is going... Uh, going to uh, uh, be uh, like be sorted, and uh, after that, uh, my par my parents and I could uh, use the cardboard and. Uh, okay, so, so um, Mine, you're you're not you're not listening to my question. It's like, how will this plan affect the amount of waste? Uh, uh, you telling me that you're going to sort it doesn't change the amount of waste there is. It just says that you're going to put the same waste in different places. Uh, th this plan could uh, uh, add up the amount of waste in my family. You want to add uh, to the waste. So could... I'm asking you to reduce the waste and you want to make more waste. Oh, oh uh, uh, but we can reduce the waste by, by uh, giving it to... Uh, Factories and... Uh... Okay, so, Mine, again, that's what I want to see in your plan. I don't want to see you telling me all the different ways you're going to sort it. I want you to tell me the ways in which you're going to reduce it. You haven't answered the question, okay? So, at Mide, Pizza, and Eraser, you guys need to do this again. I need to see step one, blah, 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 whatever it is. I need to see it done again, okay? Because I, uh -huh. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't understand what you're trying to do. You're telling me that you're going to sort everything, but sorting everything doesn't exactly solve a problem, does it? Okay, uh, Ava, Lily, and P. First, we will give the food waste to Lily's mom so we could compost the waste into fertilizer for her garden. Okay. The disposals of the solid waste should be part of an integrated waste management plan. This integrated solid waste management is the method of collection, processing, resource recovery, and final disposal of the solid waste. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's really interesting. I just don't understand what it's got to do with your plan. Are you, are you creating an integrated solid waste management uh, waste disposal plan? <laughs> I, uh, that, it's their idea. I don't know because I just do... What are the expected results? Okay, okay. Well, you need to make sure that when you're doing this, guys, that you do it You do it together, right? You, you understand each part together. I don't understand that part. I've got no idea what you guys are talking about here, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I don't fully understand. So, um, right, tell me about... We need to gather... Well, first, we know, need to gather the food waste at our home together as much as we can, so we could give it to Lily and she go and give it to her mom. So when we have enough food waste, we could uh, give it to Lily's mom and then we will have less trash. So the, uh, her garden, Lily's mom garden, could have more vegetables and... Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, this, yeah, I'll make my family put different weights in different trash. No, what's reusable, reusable. Yeah, fine. Um, but how are you going to make your family, like, because your plan is talking a lot about food waste, right? You don't talk about plastic. You don't talk about paper. Uh, here, but you must read the expected results. Yeah, but you're, but you're that they forgot to put in. Yes, exactly. So, okay. If that's the bit that, that's forgot, but, uh, sorry, was that what you sent me? Okay, right, I'll see it now. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay, that's okay. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, who am I missing here? Uh, Elsa, Minnie, Rosie, Ming Cho. Rosie and Ming Cho, right, tell me about your plan, please. Uh, we plan to reduce the use of non degradable and single use materials. Um, like uh, we will use fabric bags instead of plastic bags and use glass cups instead of paper or plastic cups and use bamboo straws instead of plastic straws. Okay, Minnie, I'm going to stop you here because I'm reading this now and 
yeah, like this is pretty good. I'm not like I'm pretty happy with everything I see here. Uh, I like the plan. I like the steps. All right, it's just we're running out of time, but I can see everything. And look, all of this is really good. I got no no problems here at all. Good stuff. Okay, uh, so um, pencil monkey, mid-a eraser, and pizza, and Ken's team as well. I need to see. Uh, I need to see more details. Okay. Um, I just need to see what your or step one, step two, step three, step four are. Okay. So if I could ask you guys to do the, that, that section again tonight um, with your extra homework, with your homework, that would be, that would be perfect. Okay. Just so I can see what you're doing, because I want you to put this plan in place by tomorrow. So we need to get it finalized. I'm happy with all the other ones, but those, uh, those ones I spoke about, we need to, we need to have a look again. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go through this. We've spent a lot of time doing it, so I want to go through this pretty quickly, okay? Uh, packaging. Who knows what packaging is? When we uh, use, like, uh, we package things to put it in another protection of a box or paper bag or something yeah, to exactly. make it secure and uh, uh, nothing happen with it. Yeah, perfect. So packaging is it's the use of additional materials to cover a product, okay? So uh, it's the material used to wrap goods in, to keep them safe, to keep make sure they don't break. Not as in this video where the guy is doing cartwheels on a cardboard box. But the point is that it keeps the inner product safe. And that's the point of packaging, okay? Packaging is, the purpose of it is to keep whatever inside it's it safe. So there's lots and lots and lots of things that we need packaging for. So B, what's something we use packaging for? B or who? B. 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 Something. What's something? What? What's something we need packaging for? Um, wrap foods. Yeah, food. Yes. Cool. P. 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 What's something you use packaging for? Wrap present. Okay. Cool. Minerva. Oh, uh, Here's some examples. Furniture. Yeah. Furniture, yeah, okay, sometimes. Ava, okay, well, look, we can use packaging for a lot of things, right? And the materials that we use for packaging can impact waste. Think about it like this. If you have a packet of noodles, right, and you open the noodles, you have your noodles and your flavor inside, but what do you do with the thing that you open the noodles from? You throw it in the bin. The packaging actually adds to waste because... We don't need it anymore. The packaging is just to keep it safe on the outside. And here's a quick example. So, uh, Ginny, can you draw a line, please, from milk to the packaging that it is needed for? It's a wax paper carton. Draw. Okay. Minnie, can you draw a line for cereal as well, please? See, for DVD. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Rosie, for... A picture frame, please. But I cannot draw, draw the screen. Why? I don't know. Okay, monkey, draw my screen, please. Picture frame goes to where? Um. And Elsa for toothpaste, please. Uh, wait. Yep, perfect. And Emily for. Where did you go? Oh, I have no idea. Bill and for jam, please. I'm here. Uh, yeah, I know, but like, you turned oh. the camera off or something, so you disappeared. Put your frame. Oh, there you go. Jam. Okay. Yeah, Emily, do jam, please. Try it. What do I do? What do you do? Nothing. There you go. What? So you just call me. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter. Now. Okay. So, um, look at all these different types of packaging, right? Bubble wrap is plastic. Where's that noise coming from? I don't know where the noise is coming from. It's quite nice. Okay, so um, 
All of these, milk comes from wax paper, cereal comes from plastic bag inside a cardboard box, DVD is plastic, picture frame, plastic and cardboard, toothpaste, metal tube, plastic cap and a cardboard box. Um, glass jar with a metal lid and a paper label. Look at the amount of packaging that goes into just simple, simple products. And that's the same for pretty much all products as well, right? They all have a lot of packaging. And as soon as the packaging is done, we throw them away. We get rid of them. We don't need them anymore. And in doing that, it then becomes waste. Something that you could think about, particularly in like going forwards, is how can you reduce that? How can we reduce the amount of waste that's coming from actual packaging itself? We need to have that much packaging for toothpaste. The toothpaste need to have a metal lid, a plastic cap, and a cardboard box. Probably not, right? So I'm sure you've all thrown stuff away like that in the last few days. So let's go through this uh, this reading together, please. Uh, where are we? Bill, oh, read, please. Thank you. Packaging. Think about walking down the aisles of aisles, a store. Aisles, aisles, aisles. of a store. What do you see? Usually, you see a you see boxes, cans, and other types of packages. Materials that contain our product products are called packaging. A product's packaging may be as simple as a label or a wrapper. Some products have very large packages made of many different types of materials, such as plastic, styrofoam, and cardboard. Cool. Thank you very much, Bill. And so... Mr. Ryan, I cannot hear. I can hear. It's fine. Don't worry. And the actual product, these packages protect easily breakable products. Okay. Oh, thank you, Pencil. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm not too sure, Pencil. You've got some an issue with your microphone there, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Sky, please read. The next. Okay, Sky, can you can you read the next line, please? Like products themselves. Can you say again? It can you read the next, Yeah. Can you read the next line, please? Like products themselves. Here. themselves packaging must be manufactured from raw materials trees must be cut to make paper labels and cardboard boxes tin must be mined to make cans plastic made from petroleum petroleum oil must be produced for many types of Kitchen bacteria. Yep, cool. Thank you. And uh, Laura, can you read the next one? Laura, fine. Pizza, read, please. The manufacturing of packaging has the same problems as the manufacturing of goods. Getting raw materials is costly and can be harmful to the environment. More pre-consumer waste is created during the manufacturing process. Packaging also creates more post-consumer waste because it is simply thrown away when a product is purchased. Healthy or bulky packaging is more difficult to transport to stores. It requires more trucks to transport products with larger packages. More trucks create more pollution and more cost for the product. Yes, cool. Good job. Right. I'm going to explain what your homework is first, just because we only have five minutes left. Okay. So your homework tonight is to start your PowerPoint. Okay. All I want you to do is just do your introduction slide. That's all. Okay. Now, I know that in your groups, certain people are doing certain roles and certain people are just doing the introduction, but at the same time, I want you to do this all together, okay? So I want you to sit down to decide what kind of PowerPoint template you're gonna use, and then to do the introduction together as a group. And that you send that to Miss Hien and I this evening so that I can go through it. And I can give you some feedback before tomorrow. Anyone have any questions about this? Easy homework to do, right? No. Okay, cool. Also, uh, I need to make sure that... Also, don't go... We've got five minutes left, so we still have lots of time. I just want to do this now before we start going into something else so I don't have to rush. Uh, I want to make sure that Monkey's group, A's group, and Ken's group also send me this again with these steps done in a lot more detail. 
Ming Chiao, can you be quiet, please? Okay, so I need to get that, these steps from the three boys groups, Dean Knight as well. So boys, I need you to do this again. Okay, let's go choose some of these questions. Um, uh, how does packaging add cost to a product? Because getting raw materials is costly and can be harmful for the environment and because at it, it the product may have heavy and bulky packaging or bulky packaging and then it need it requires more trucks to transport the product and then in it creates more pollution and more costs. Yeah, exactly. So the more cost is getting raw materials is costly to make packaging and that using trucks or something to transport the packaging can also be costly as well. Uh, two, way, two ways that too much packaging can harm the environment. How can too much packaging harm the environment? Uh, Kent, how can packaging harm the environment? Um, the packaging harm the environment. Uh, packaging, um, it will make pollution. Um, packaging, the packaging can harm the environment, but it will make the pollution. Oh, but how does packaging um, make pollution? Um, he throws the packaging out. Of, oh, is um. Hey, look, there. more trucks to transport products with larger packages creates more pollution. Oh, I know. Um, packaging, uh, packaging, packaging made from, made from petrol, petrol oil must be protected for many times of packaging material. Okay, right. Be, we're going to go through this again tomorrow. Okay, we'll go through these questions once more. We'll go through them in a bit more detail and read through the paragraph again. Does anyone have any questions about their homework before we have to go today? So again, start your presentation, get your introduction done, send it to Miss Yen, send it to Miss Yen and I. Also, the boys, I need you to do that homework again to show me your step-by-step. -step. All right, cool. Well, that's good. I look forward to seeing it. All right, okay, bye-bye.